The EI photo scandal that stunned a Beverly Hills Middle School was the hot topic tonight at a district board meeting. Last week, students shared fake AI generated nude photos of classmates. Tonight, the superintendent gave an update on the investigation. Here's KCAL's Lori Paris. Serious messages coming out of the school board meeting tonight. The superintendent says the investigation continues and there will be severe consequences for anyone who is involved. The second point they say is technology is developing so rapidly they are worried this is a sign of things to come. I want to express my profound outrage uh, for what has happened. The Beverly Hills superintendent says the joint investigation with police continues into Beverly Vista Middle School students who created and shared AI generated naked pictures of their classmates. The district has not yet released how many students were involved as victims or perpetrators. It's not the first school in the country where it's happened and that's why school leaders here say the next step has to be districts partnering with lawmakers to protect kids from rapidly emerging technology that has little oversight. You think about, um, you know, smoking and you, you think about, um, you know, just driving cars and, and things are regulated by age and by experience. Um, this is completely unregulated. In the meantime, board members say they must partner with parents. Schools in Beverly Hills are already cell phone free. It's what happens after school some are worried about. Please get in control of the kids and the tech and the access. Dr. Jane Taviev Asher is a parent with a son at Beverly Vista. She's also a board certified child neurologist who says research shows learning with technology is inferior and it's risky, not only because of what happened at Beverly Vista, but she says in so many other ways. The technology is affecting the children's frontal lobe. It's affecting their social development. It's affecting their obesity rates. It's affecting their depression and anxiety rates. She wants tech out of the classrooms altogether, especially for young students. Middle school dad Anthony Height says after he heard about what happened. It was very heartbreaking. It was very, it was. It was very heartbreaking. He's also looking for answers to shield his student. We have to be more hands on, especially in this day and age. We have to be more involved with our children because it, uh, if not, we're going to lose them and we're going to lose them by margins where we cannot get them back. The superintendent says they are still interviewing students about what happened, and he reiterated the punishment could include recommendations for some students to be expelled. In Beverly Hills, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL News.